Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. Across the globe, there's growing concern over pollution from auto emissions. In today's episode, we'll take a look at how new emission control standards are affecting the way automakers design tomorrow's cars. I'm Vince Penman. Just over a year ago, the U.S. government adopted a new set of fuel economy standards for cars and trucks in the year 2025. These new measures, called the 2025 CAFE standards, are meant to improve the efficiency of cars produced in the U.S. The new fuel economy of passenger vehicles will increase from its average of 31 mpg today to 54.5 mpg by the year 2025. And while some are still arguing whether these standards can be achieved while turning a profit for the industry, one thing is for sure. The new CAFE standards will force U.S. automakers to rethink the way they design their cars. Now I know what you're thinking, what about hybrids and electrics? Well, before we start thinking about turning every car into a Tesla, there are a number of incremental and cost-effective changes that can help improve pre-existing technology. So where should we begin? Well, the obvious choice would be the engine, and according to MIT researchers, a few simple upgrades could dramatically improve fuel economy. Take for instance your traditional starter alternator system. If you only upgraded this system to one that turned a car's engine off when it's idling, you'd already realize a boost in fuel economy. In the same study, researchers also suggested that direct fuel injectors could replace conventional injectors, cutting the amount of fuel needed for each cylinder compression. In addition to these simple part switches, using advanced high-power electronics could optimize engine efficiency. Next-generation electronic systems could enable a car to use continuous valve timing, a process that actively tunes an engine's compressions to respond to driving conditions. Even more efficiency could also be achieved if engines could deactivate the number of cylinders they were using depending on whether a car was cruising or accelerating. Moving beyond the engine, research has also shown that replacing the century-old gear-based transmission with modern continuously variable transmissions will also improve vehicle mileage. The number of incremental improvements that can be made to optimize current cars is nearly endless. From low friction wheels to regenerative braking systems, there are so many areas of improvement. But at the end of the day, making these improvements will require auto design teams to balance a number of systems, from electronics to mechanical software. Managing even the smallest design revision for the intricately interwoven systems of these cars requires tightly integrated teams that can pass design revision back and forth seamlessly. Fortunately for designers, modern CAD tools give them the ability to communicate design changes across CAD platforms and across multidisciplinary teams instantly, making the job of meeting the 2025 CAFE standards that much easier. While today's auto designers have a huge task ahead of them, if they're successful, they'll have reduced emissions equivalent to taking 177 million of today's cars off the road. This episode is sponsored by PTC. To learn more about PTC Creo and how it can help your team develop complex products, visit ptc.com slash product slash Creo. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.